Hey guys, so I'll be showing you how to install Ninjax on 11.x. So this is different than the 9.x and 10.x method, but ultimately it achieves the same goal. So first we're going to start off by downloading and extracting the homebrew starter kit to the root of your 3DS's SD card. So we can close out of this window, and we're going to go inside of it, and we're going to copy both of these files. So now I'm going to paste them onto my SD card. If you see anything that says to merge folders or overwrite files, then you can just hit OK. And we'll wait for this to get done. So now we can eject our SD card and put it into our console again. So now we're going to launch Cubic Ninja normally. And then we're going to press the A button. And if you had a previous version of Ninjax installed, then you're going to need to delete all of your save data. So we can do that by holding the L, the R, the X, and the Y button at the same time. And then it'll ask you this. So we're going to click yes. And it'll delete all of the data. Data deleted. So now we're going to hit OK. And we're going to go to create. And then QR code. So we're going to do scan QR code. So now we're going to go to the Ninjax website in the description. So we're going to scroll down to the Get Ninjax part of the website, and we're going to enter console's information. So I'm old, 11.1.0-34U. So I'm going to hit update QR code now, and this will come up on screen. So from here we're going to scan the QR codes that are on the screen. The first one will scan, and you'll know that it's been scanned if this text on the top disappears. So then once the text disappears, you're going to hit the B button, and it'll go back to the menu. And then you can go back into this again. And you're going to scan all of the QR codes, and you're going to hit the next button in between each one you scan. So then once you've scanned all 15 of the QR codes, we're going to go back into the game's menu. So now we can go back into it, and we can go to create QR code, and the exploit should load now. And you'll see that the exploit will load, and you'll be able to get into the homebrew launcher. So let's try opening one of the apps. I'm going to try going into MGBA. And it seems that this is working. It seems to have all of the SD card access and stuff. So yeah, um, thank you guys for watching. Like, subscribe, comment for more videos, tutorials, and other stuff like this. And I'll see you next time.